go. We've got the second round wing. So they're a little bit hungry. I'm just going to feed them. So this is the, uh, the second round. Moved over. See, we've got the wings up. If we are all glued together. So, uh, let's have a good feed. You can see them. So, what, three of these are going into a one log race, which I'm going to set down on at the weekend. They're eating well. They've been uh, weaned them at 22 days. They've been weaned a couple of days. So, uh, I always make sure that they eat well. You can see all the way they're drinking it already. They've been weaned a couple of days now. I'm giving them, still giving them a bit of uh, the whole my farm. Well, we them off it slowly. Quiet them down in a minute because they've uh, got a belly full. Not wrong with them, they're nice and healthy. Well, the only young birds are outside playing the first round. So I always feed these first. But if they are in with the old first round that I kept, the first few. Half a dozen or so, okay. They are living with them now. But when I let them out, that's when I feed these young, younger ones to make sure that they are eating. And as you can see, no blinking eyes. Good appetite. Get to eat. So now we're starting to slow down a bit now. Be able to see them, nice, nice babies. Losing them. We've got a couple of checkers. Um, there's a guy who's going to have six, that I promised. And three are going into the one lap race. There's uh, that's still a six to move over, a little bit younger. For that water now, one or two of them. So, as you can see, these two have got good appetite, they're eating well. Pigeons, 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 it's non stop. Non stop. Like I say, I always, when we first wean them, I always feed them in the galley pot. Put a little handful on the floor. Feed them in them galley pot so they're not throwing it about. Easier for them to pick up. Nice healthy second round.
know where the drinker is. You can see. Have a drink. Eating well. That's what you want. Keep your eye on them. First few days. Say. We know where that drinker is now. Babies. I need to know a couple of them drinking there. Once they found that water, you see. No worries. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they're all eating well, drinking well. As you can see, they've calmed down now because they've got a belly full. Say the first round are out, but because they're, they can hear these easy feeding now, they're wanting to come in. But I won't let them in the loft until these babies have settled, they've had a full feed, and then I'll let the older ones in and feed them. There you go, flap of the wings to say, right, dad, I'm full. Feel better now, I've got something to eat. Like I say, you can see that I've put a couple of handfuls of home farm on the floor, but they're starting to leave that now. They're not interested so much in the home farm, which is this red stuff. So I'll give them a little bit on a spoonful in the nest box when the parents are feeding them. But there's still, there's still a few pieces of that on the floor, they're not interested, they want that good quality hard corn now. That's what you want. Still on the breeding mix, these ones. So they're getting the, uh, the mix that we've been reared on. So we'll feed them that for the next couple of weeks. And they'll go on the mix to the, the only young birds they're on, which is more carbs. So that's the second round of my breeders. There's a few couple in here from the uh, Widowwood Cocks. So I like to try them off the Widowers as well. You never know if it's going to breed you a third generation good one. show you the older ones when these have settled down. I'll show you the old ones coming in for the feed on the trap. They, uh, they're not messing about now. As soon as they open the door, well, the window, they're in. They're in for the food. Put a bit more in the galley pots. So whatever's left, the older ones will come in and eat it. round. That's it now, there'll be no more going into my young bird team. End of March. So there may be 20 or 30 young birds. Around about 26, 27. That's enough for me. Like I say, I'm, I am letting a lad have six of these and three going down into the one off race in the pottery. So we'll see, see how they do. So there's two lots of the young birds this year, one over in Birkenhead. Who uh, tells me he's really happy with them, he's going well. Six of these are going up to Halewood in Liverpool. Now, so you can see we've had it up. 
I'll queue it up with a drink in how we So you know where the water is. Once these have all had a drink, settle down, I'll uh, let the older ones in, show you them. Actually out fly with the hens. Now they're a bit better now, they the full. Giving a flap of the wings. So another week on these and these will be out. Watching. I'll just show you the older ones now. Okay, so here's the older ones with the hens. See? They're there, molted, because of the natural darkness. You see the red rings amongst them, they're the younger ones. Like I say, they're out with the hens. See there, red rings, you can see them holding very well. I've not put them on the dart yet, I'm going to put them on this week. Now the second round are in. These are the uh, widowed ends. The first round of young birds, well, we have eight or nine of them. the drill now. Then, go on then. In the go. Go on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment. See you on the next one. That's the widow woodcock that I've just let out. So I've started to get them ready now for racing. You can see the widow woodcocks. I've let them out last. I've been busy with work, so they've only just started to go out now, these cocks. You can see them there. Getting them fit. A bit of a zoom so you can see if you can see them. The widowers. It has been snowing, believe it or not, about an hour ago here. It's a bit cold, I don't like yearlings out when it's too cold, but as you can see, they're going well. I like it above 10 degrees for yearlings. 
stuff with all what they did is But we've got to start going. So they're going out now every day, once a day. That's the widowers. Because the racing season is soon be here, the 16th of April, the first race. So I want to start getting them out every day now, cleaning them up, getting them ready for the race. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you all again on the next one. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoor forever free Step back to see the truth.